What's up everybody? I actually haven't talked to you guys inside the car for quite some time. It used to be like almost every vlog started right here inside the car. It's been a while. It's good to be back. Today is Monday and what's today? The 5th? I think it's June 5th. Something like that. But I uh, have a couple things to do today. Not too much. I start my new class, Cinematography 1. Start that tomorrow. So that'll be fun. But today I have it off. So that's cool. Got to run to the post office real quick and then there's something down the street from where I live that I've seen for years. No idea what it is. We're going to go figure out what it is. So stay tuned. thing I was talking about. I have no idea why this is here. It's been here for a long time and we're gonna try to figure out what the heck it's here for. I'm sure it's you know to commemorate something but we're gonna walk around see if we can't find like a plaque or something and see what this thing is all about. And here's the other end of it. It uh, looks like they're doing some work here. I don't know if this is normally filled with water right here. Like a fountain. Pretty cool. I'm not, still not sure what it is. And now I'm way down here, all the way at the end of it, and this is what's at the end. It's this huge, I guess, well, kind of huge, like fountainy type of area, like a little lake almost. And there's, uh, I don't know, maybe six inches of water in there, maybe, at the most. Interesting. It looks like there may or may not be like a plaque or something, like right over there. So we'll go check that out, see if it has any information as to what this is exactly. And we figured it out! This has all the information. It's not just like a spaceship looking thing from the sky. It is the Founders Garden. Apparently this represents, uh, you know, irrigation and, uh, let's see, it's Ontario's history has been shaped by pioneers who built a new community by combining their own knowledge and skills with the energy and determination generated by the promise of this extraordinary landscape, George Chafee, Ontario's founder, used irrigation to create a verdant landscape resembling his native Ontario, Canada. Italian immigrant Secondo Guasti saw this region's sandy, rocky soil and was reminded of his own homeland. He planted vineyards needing little or no irrigation. Guasti's vineyards, Chafee's irrigation tunnels, and Ontario's citrus and olive groves were cultivated and built by workers from throughout the United States and the world. This plaza and garden are dedicated to the memory of all the founders of Ontario. Ontario. Their legacy, Ontario, remains a dynamic and livable city and grows towards an even brighter future. That's what this is. And there's, you know, a list on here of all the different things that uh, are represented here as far as like grapevines, roses, olive trees, water towers, grapevines. Again, I said that already. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what this is. Finally figured it out. I think on that side, over there by the freeway, there is actually like some grapevines over there. So that's pretty cool. Good stuff. But anyways, all done there. Just really wanted to make a quick video and go check out that thing that I've seen for a long time. Seen that there for many years and uh, just always wondered what the heck it was there for. So now I know. It's to commemorate the founders of Ontario, California. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of different things going on over there to represent, you know, all the different factors of how this uh, area was founded. Interesting. Now, I know it's not baseball or anything like that for some of you that have come on board for the, all the baseball stuff. There will be more baseball coming soon. Good stuff. But I'm just heading home now, gonna relax. Don't know what the rest of the day holds. I don't know, I might watch a movie or two or something and just kind of relax. Gotta get up early tomorrow, back to school, back on the train, good times. Had a good four day weekend so far. But anyways, hope you guys are doing well. Also, Noticed we're at 45 subscribers now, five subscribers away from doing the autograph baseball card giveaway. If you're not up on that, I'll put the links down in the description uh, for the two videos that talk about the, uh, the autograph baseball card giveaway. So if you want to get on board with that, do so. We've got five more subscribers and then we're giving those away. So that should be a lot of fun. So be sure to do that. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Also leave a comment, say hello. 
hit that subscribe button come along there's going to be some awesome adventures coming up going back to knott's berry farm soon that should be fun but anyways that's it for me hope you guys are doing well i'll see you guys soon keep your heads up stay positive peace guys Thank <laughs> you.